Welcome back to Cut Above Tarot Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and other placements. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and comment button. Get in where you fit in, Aries. If you don't find that in this video, please check your other placements. I'll see you there too. Cruising and viewing. All views appreciated. Returning subscribers. Thank you for your support. Checking in on a friend. Hey, friend. Now, Aries, this is your crystal oracle message. And they gave you two. And they're quite similar. So let's get started. Your first card is the Enhydro. Enhydro, which is the emotional cleansing crystal. Okay? That card number is number 26. Two and, two and six is eight, correct? So, this is talking about a new beginning, a fresh start, correct? A uh, complete up cycle. It says, this medicine helps you let go of all suppressed emotions. How you can identify the crystal? You can identify the crystal. The anhydro crystal by the small water bubbles trapped and encased inside of it. See those bubbles? It says anhydro is taken from a Greek word meaning as water within. Thousands of years ago, crystal trapped tiny water bubbles inside them as they grew. Water has a direct link to our emotions, so these crystals help to amplify, unleash, and bring to the surface for healing old suppressed emotions that have been causing unbalance and dis-ease. The medicine prompts your emotions to flow freely and you to attain a healthy, balanced emotional state of being. This crystal assists in amplifying emotions, feeling your feelings. Connecting to the water elements and the gifts it brings. Connecting with yourself. You have attracted this card into your awareness, Aries, as confirmation you are holding on to, suppressing and storing old, stale emotions in your body. At certain times in life, when things get hard and challenging, the feeling that comes with these experiences are hard to manage, process, and sit with. You push these emotions down and shut them off by keeping busy and distracting yourself with other things, such as overeating, overworking, excessive drinking, or anything else to keep your mind and body active and disassociated so you don't think, you don't feel. It is a very normal, natural process to want to run from pain and uncomfortable emotions, however, a reese. It can cause energy to build up and create an imbalance that eventually leads to dis-ease. It is extremely important to work through your emotions as they arise. Have you been feeling stuck? Are you pushing your feelings down with distractions? Do you feel it hard to sit with your uncomfortable, painful emotions? Are your emotions all over the place or ruling your world? Are you over-emotional and feeling overwhelmed? Are you disassociating yourself from your emotions or feeling depressed, anxious, or numb? However, you are feeling. Know that it is directly associated with hidden emotions. You are being encouraged to allow your emotions to flow freely, like waves in the ocean. It is time to sit with yourself and accept your feelings for what they are, Aries. And it is extremely important that you don't judge, shame, or beat yourself up in the process as it can keep your emotions stuck. What's required instead is surrender, love, kindness, and understanding. The elements of water is related to your emotions and can assist in letting them flow freely. This crystal holds this medicine very strongly and is here to assist you, Aries. A great way to release your emotions is to talk about them by chatting with a friend about how you feel or possibly seeking out a good counselor. Emotions are also released with movement, so get that body of yours dancing like no one's watching. Another great tool is to work consciously with your breath. When you suppress your emotions, you tend to hold your breath. So breathe, breath, 
breath work will release emotions quickly and easily from your body. Make sure you make sure you action whatever you feel best for you, as this card is a sign that your emotions are causing your current issues, and it's important to make a shift for the sake of your well-being. Aries. Allow yourself to surrender to the process and love your feelings free. Now there is a ceremony that comes with this or a ritual. It says work with the Enhydro crystal or call in its energy through this card. Close your eyes and connect with the crystal's energy. Visualize yourself bathing under a sacred waterfall. Allow the water to cleanse every cell of your being and wash your mind, body, and spirit. Ask the water to help you get in touch with your feelings. Allow your feelings to come to the surface and do whatever you are guided to do to release them. You can scream, hum, sing, shake, dance, and stomp, or whatever the emotion is calling for you to do. Aries, keep doing this until you feel the emotion has cleared. Thank the crystal divas, the element of water, and yourself. Your second card, Aries, is Nirvana. <laughs> Nirvana quartz. Now, Aries, if you're not sure what Nirvana means, I'd be more than happy to read it to you. Nirvana says that it's a state of total peace without any clinging or struggling. When we are completely free from the illusion of ego, one who reaches Nirvana is called an Arhat, an Oye, an enlightened person who is free from suffering and the poisons of passion, aggression, and ignorance. So it is a feeling of being numb, if I can process it that way in my own words, to everything and anything around you, living and being in the world, but not being a part of anything, being in a higher state, and possibly just meditating so your card number is number 32 3 and 2 is 5 this is saying that there's some change coming in okay definitely you got a, a, a cycle ending and change is coming and both of these cards are talking about clearing up something this one's talking about clearing your karma this one over here is talking about emotional cleansing so, Aries, that's a possibility that you need to be cleared and cleansed of your emotional as well as your uh, karma, okay, energy. So, let's read your card and see what it says. All right, Aries. It says, this medicine assists in clearing old karmic pattern or pattering. Identifying the crystal. They say the Nirvana quartz come in a range of colors from white to light pink. And has the foundation of a quartz crystal. They're created beneath glacial layers of ice. Which gives them a very unique formation known as growth interference. It looks like deep rivers etched throughout the crystal, right? The crystal medicine for this card says the potent crystal is found in the high mountains of the Himalayas and has discovered and was discovered in 2006. When the glacier started to melt, the medicine helps people clear old karmic patterning and belief systems. It is also known as the stone of bliss due to the understanding that when you let go of old limiting beliefs, you can eventually enter into a state of nirvana. It's powerful stone that awakens self-awareness and wisdom, wisdom and supports you to actively work on releasing the old ways 
and inspire new experiences from a more expanded place of awareness. In this place, a race, in this place, you will be able to live more in the now. The crystal assists, this crystal assists in releasing old karmic patterns, reaching bliss or nirvana states of consciousness, self-awareness and wisdom, deep meditative states and enlightenment. A message from your diva. You have called this powerful teacher crystal into your awareness as you are clearing out old karmic patterning from your soul. What you are currently going through is a powerful lesson and that requires your full attention and awareness. You have been working through this karma for lifetimes, Aries. And now you have the opportunity to master this very important life lesson. What is karma, you may ask? The universe is made up of energy and is governed under certain laws, one of which is the law of cause and effects. And every action created an equal reaction or response. Another law is the law of return. Whatever energy is expressed will eventually return. When you translate these laws into your everyday life, you receive karma. Whatever action you take has an equal and opposing reaction, and this energy eventually comes back to you. It's a feedback system to the soul that creates an opportunity to learn and grow. You are learning some profound soul lessons from challenging experiences. Life has dealt you, Aries. It is time to learn from this karma as you start to fully understand these lessons and integrate their wisdom in your life. If you don't immediately recognize the lesson, it will return, amplified, and become more painful and challenging So. You can finally wake up to the pattern that is keeping you stuck and stagnant. Sometimes, Aries, you think the whole universe is against you. When really it's supporting and guiding you to potent soul lessons. Do you feel trapped in an old pattern? Do you feel like you're constantly peeling back the onion on the same issue? Do you feel like the whole world is against you and everything you touch goes wrong? Is life weighing you down? Take time to tune in to what karma you are currently shifting and the lessons that are available to you. It is extremely important to get awareness this time, Aries, so the issue doesn't return and take you down. Work with the divas of the Nirvana's court as they will bring understanding to your situation, release the karma you need to fully understand the lesson. So make sure you work through it. You have been given an opportunity to do things differently, so make the most of it. If this is a difficult situation, Aries, be kind to yourself as you move into a deeper space of awareness. Don't blame, scold, shame, or beat yourself up, as this can keep you trapped in the old. You're being invited to call in the Lords of Karma, a group of light beings who oversee all karma and how it's served to help you through this time. They are here to keep you, but because of your free will, you are required to give them permission to intervene. All you need to do is ask for their guidance and assistance and be open and willing to receive. It's such an expansive time for you, and you set yourself free and aligned to a new level of wisdom when you let go of old limiting beliefs. You can eventually enter a state of nirvana. 
work with a Nirvana Quartz if you have one. Or call in the energy from this card. Here's the ritual. Call on the Lords of Karma to support you through this process and let it be known that you are open and willing to receive. Close your eyes and drop deeply into a relaxed state of being. Call the medicine of this crystal to your heart and breathe it in. Imagine yourself sitting high on a mountaintop in the Himalayas and take a few moments to arrive. Taking the energy of this sacred hand, land. Hand over to the lords of karma. Anything that's no longer serving you. All you need is the intention to do. To see yourself handing it over. Let go of old karma and allow the lords to help you to see the lesson and gain a more expanded awareness of your current situation. Stay in this place for a while as the Lords of Karma offer you a blessing as they clear your old karmic pattern. As you return, take note of how much lighter you feel, Aries, now that you are able to see your situation in a different light. Thank the Divas and the Lords of Karma.